Yeah. Oh, we have possession. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That should be interesting. Oh my god, we have possession and capital. Uh, you can debt lock yourself. Um. Okay. Only one landscape is Order of Masons. That's Man, the... I, sh I should be I should be banning possession when I'm playing in tournaments because I I really don't actually know how to play with it. <laughs> Okay, well, I used to play a lot of possession games because I had a weird friend group. Uh huh. Uh, and so I can walk you through any of the rules stuff. Yeah, um, that would be great. So how does how does it work with capital here? So basically, you the person making the money, yeah, like the person who's being possessed gets the money, but the person who's playing possession gets the debt token. So you can create a state where. There's no point in possessing you because you have a ton of debt. Mm -hmm. And so you can't do anything with your turn other than pay off your debt. Yeah. I don't know if that's relevant here. It's just like often a funny interaction, debt cards and possession. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had, I had a tournament game that had debt in it. And that was, I think it was a, yeah, it was a triumph game. Where the debt management was super important. And I'm so confused about all of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see possession being particularly important on this board. Like, maybe it is? I don't know. Let's see. Can we build an engine that actually plays a bunch of possession? There's no real draw other than Menagerie. Um, I mean, maybe. Menagerie is a pretty good draw card. It is, but... It's not doesn't have the support you need on this board to really do like a menagerie draw deck. Like you have student in town, which I guess helps. Wait, how does how does uh Lich work with possession? Oh, oh right. Me. Right. If if I possess you and then I play Lich as you, then you skip your next turn. So it's me again. Yep. So you don't yeah. want you don't want liches in your deck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Now, how do you actually play this board? Um, I don't think the fancy possession thing is super relevant. I feel like you just play something. It's kind of more traditional. I think the 5 2 is really garbage. I don't know. Treasure Trove Cat sounds pretty good. Just go straight money? Not straight money, but like you open Treasure Trove Cat and then next shuffle you probably pick up two students. Right but on. yeah, money looks good on this board, honestly. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Um, Money looks competitive here. Possession also fucking sucks against money because <laughs> it just like spends 18 turns to fucking play possession and buy a duchy. Um, no, I think I'll do... Let's see. Am I taking that or that? We got the Masons, which is a strong card. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Do you have Sirens in the background? Yeah, but they're pretty faint. I'm surprised you can hear that. Yeah, you no, know, it's like it like faintly picks them up sometimes. It's not. It's kind of impressive. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I know I want to open at least one student. Do I want two students? Let's open town. That's a fun card. Yeah. Yes, and then we discard. 
this, I think. Oh. I think I want the second student. Yeah, I do too. And just like that, there's no more student. <laughs> it's a good card. Yes. Uh, now what are we doing with the rotations? Are we going to this? Do I want to expose liches? Um, sure, why not? Rotating's fun. Yes, do that, sweet. <laughs> so why are you rotating, just for fun? I think, I mean, the only card that matters is the Conjurer, I think. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm not planning to pick it up now, so let's not let you have it either. But I don't really think it matters when we are. Um, when we both are two students, it's so easy to just rotate what you want. Yeah. Uh. What happened with my game? Okay, thank you. I think the server is acting up a bit for me. Hmm. I see if it's looks fine for me, but we'll uh, yeah. see if that changes. Bye bye black cat. Yeah, I'm getting crazy lag here. Hmm. Let's see, there's two coffers in the discard. Um, what do I want to gain? Another conjure, I think. Nice. And then we conjure. Oh wait, this is bad with menagerie. Damn. <laughs> you don't want to start your turn with two conjure in hand. <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not worth the menagerie. Um. 
Um, okay. That's five. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but hopefully it's good. Yeah, me neither. I did not want to see that card. That there it is. Okay, so now we take this and do that, play this. Wait, another last card is a black cat. Gonna play this card. Trash you. One, two, three. Or so then I can't play what I gained, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five is a something. What do I buy? None of that matters. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm way behind on building. Yeah, the conjurers actually worked out. Yeah, getting multiple conjurers seems really good. Also, you just got access to them earlier than I did. Look yeah looks like this is tilting in your favor for sure mm -hmm. um but still some game left let's see what happens i think i want another menagerie and no let's not get a black cat um probably want to use this like this <clears throat> and I'm drawing kind of hilariously <laughs> I think we can get up 
for session or play this time. That might be good. Be nice. Yeah, I mean my deck doesn't do very much, but you can you can try it out. Yeah, hey, it's extra turns. It's extra turns. It's time walk. What's the last of love? Who doesn't like some extra turns? Uh, well, more towns is always good payload. And then we just want to play these as one, two, three, four, five, six, and potion. See how that works. Coins, coins. Do I need to do some of that? By obsession. Yes. So I don't need to see that, and I don't care to see that. Ooh. Possession Black Cat can do fun stuff. No, wait. Um. No, that doesn't work. I don't think it does anything particularly interesting. No, I thought I thought you could use it to force your opponent to gain curses, but no, you can make yourself gain curses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bunch of warnings of possibly lost connection with the game server. I think that's the best sign. So it might be on your side. Yeah, I think so. Or well, somewhere. Somewhere on my side. Um. Wait, what? Are you still in the game? Yeah, I think so anyway. Well, it said I was waiting for you, so then I tried refreshing, right. and now I'm at Good. the table. I just reconnected. Looks fine to me. Uh, so how do I get back into the game? Um, I'm pretty sure you won this game. Do you want to just call it and try another one? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. GG. Uh, can you join the table? <laughs> Otherwise, we might have to call this yes. session short. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay, see if it's. See let's see if it works better with you as host. Uh, switch to two yeah. forest allies cards. What do I have to do? Uh, you have to make one more card forced allies. So like click. Mm. Got it. I don't remember where you click, but I think it's. I figured it out. Yeah. Okay, so two forced allies cards. Yes. Uh, yeah. who starts? Um, it's a good question. You went first last game because you opened with a five two. Yes. So you should start now. Okay. So I'm so trying to find where that is on the new. So client. you turn off randomized player order in the top right beneath the the, the list of players in the table. There's a oh, tick box. Okay. I see it. So turn that off and now you're on yeah. the top so you start. Cool. Okay, this looks like it might be kind of a strong board. <laughs> yeah, you see Paige and you're like, ooh! 
I see silk, and I see experiment, and I see albums and gear and fish reel and student. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, there's sure. there's there's a lot of stuff here. Um, what does Trapper Lodge do? I should read that. Yeah. I think, oh my god. I think that's good to do. <laughs> No, wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, oh, I thought I, oh, I thought I was clicking end actions, but of course I wasn't. Uh, let's see, arms, or a, I, I think it's gauge. It's not like actions matter, matters that much, but I don't think it hurts. This is so crazy because the page doesn't even miss the shuffle. I mean, the treasure. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, question is what you do uh, next. There's so many. Good I mean, cards. there's just keep adding good cards to your deck until you. Yeah, explode. like, but like all the cards are good. So which one? In which order do you add them? <laughs> question i think it's yeah it's probably silk first well at least you don't gain the 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 page upgrades so you can't trap or slodge your your warrior on top as well yeah what i remember on the first page games i played i bought traveling fair or something and i was like wait i can't top deck them I'm like what <laughs> that was my strategy that's great i think i just want more self merchant hmm oh this ui is unreadable stuff is overlapping so i can't can barely see so i have four and one So yeah, now it's silk or it's counterfeit or student page. Student is probably the anti cycling from student is probably really bad. Don't think you want that. Uh, so then the question is counterfeit or silk? Counterfeit isn't great with alms. But I do like trashing and plus buy, I think. And I can buy us. I guess I should read emissary more carefully. It's like a weird smithy, right? Yeah, yeah it's it's pretty weird. Sounds cool in a little bit, but I don't need it a second. I think it's counterfeit. The question is, is it a counterfeit page? Yeah. I think I'm just going to take the counterfeit. Nice. Let's see. Okay, I'll take that. One copy. Oh, what happened? Oh. Yeah, I'm not even sure if that's friendly or not. It might be friendly. I don't know. I kind of want the silks, but yeah. that's the worst thing. Yeah. Let's see. This is two, three, four, five, six. Seven, possibly eight. And down there we got a silk and something. I think we want the counterfeit page. <laughs> Uh, 
let's not play that silk. In case we draw a hero. Silk and don't think we care for a third page. I take an emissary. Is that better than an experiment? Hmm. You do have a lot of villagers. Yeah. I think I take an emissary. If nothing else for some variety, and then I should fail to buy them. Uh. Do I or you have two counterfeits? I have two. You have two. Well, a third feels a bit overkill. I think it's just gold. Could gain Humble Castle for some serious swag. Yeah. Don't think so. Bye bye silks. Mm, good card. Yes. Pretty decent. Go for the for the shuffle. I'll go with champion and say you don't really need them. Well, I mean, I do want the draw cards in my deck and I want the plus buy. They're lads. Once champions in play. Yeah, but like gears are too. And you have you don't Yeah, but gears require more clicking. <laughs> True. Wait, how many how many coffers do I have? Three. I okay, I can see it if I slide the coffers button. Um that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus three. That's like triple gear or something. I think I like that. I just want the draw now. Yeah, just in time. That's, um, uh, that's a pretty decent turn there. Yeah, the looks are good, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm the first person to say it. Silk Merchant is a strong card. Oh, yeah, I've, I've never heard that before. Yeah. I don't think. Um, yeah, maybe my second counterfeit should have been a Silk. But that's about it. Yeah, I mean, I won 6 4 the Silk split, and then you trash one. Wait, did I only um, get three silks? Oh, do I have another silk down there? Is that my last Oh, card? oh, okay. Let's see. No. Yeah, six, four, and, and I trashed one of you. So you have three, okay, five, yeah, four. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, so what do I want for payload here? I kind of want a treasure hunter. But it seems a little slow this late in the game. Um, I could buy a bunch of castles. Yeah, I got I got my second page with a thought of making it a hero for payload. Yeah, yeah, that's strong. I probably should have picked up. I had not. Um, hmm. obviously, I should just buy three golds and call it a day. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, That's got to be the best for sure. That's a solid line. Is there any other, like, what's the best way here to add payload? Camel train? Probably camel train. Hmm. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, if you're, like, yeah, like, camel train and then gold is clearly, like, that's, like, almost strictly better than just golds. Sure, sure. But, I mean, I can probably, I don't actually need the gold next turn. Um... I could buy like two camel trains and do I want to get the gold set exile? What do you think? Do you, do you buy a couple camel trains and then the gold? It feels wrong to buy gold, but it might be right. Hmm. I mean, you do, need to, to you do need to draw. Yeah, I mean, you also add some emissaries at this point. So, um, yeah, 11, 14, 17. Yeah, something like that. I think, right. I think it's gold. It's either yeah. that, it's either that or the page line, but the page line yeah. will take a couple turns. Page line slow. Um, and do we buy an emissary or do we just buy gear? I think we just buy gear. Yeah. Cool. There's my silks. Mm. Uh, are you piling on me if I click gears too much? I don't think so. Uh, how Keep much... in mind, experiments a pile. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only like. There's not a mod... There's not a lot of turns left in this game. That's for sure. Uh... So what do I click? And how much draw do we need to add to this deck? Oh, I did gain silvers there. Crashed one. Bought three gears. So that's, that's net one card. And then there's another bunch. Yeah, I need a bunch more draw. And I don't think there's enough game left for experiment to be much worse than gear. Three, nine, fifteen, twenty four, three, six, twelve. Yeah, that's close. You almost have it. Ah, let's do that. I don't think you can pile, but I think it's kind of close. Well, I just dudded, so oops, not not a full dud, but I didn't draw. Yeah, um, just fine, fine. So I can take plenty of points. Um,
Oh. Uh, bottom card is the hero. Ooh. Which means we have to return an extra experiment. Um. So yeah, this is a lot of money. But since I returned experiments. No, wait. Oh, I don't have a hero yet. Derp. Um, in which, which case that was just bad. Okay. Um, five, six, seven, eight buys. That's not enough to end it. Yeah. We'll probably just want to score a bunch and add a bit of draw. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen. That one would have been nice, but four, nine, fifteen, eighteen. That's pretty good, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that works. Oh, that's brutal. Yay! Um, I hoped it would be. Oh, I saw him draw next turn. I think I have to keep the warrior. I'm not drawing otherwise. Ouch. Four, five, six, seven games, still not enough. And then we probably just do something like this and then count. See what we get. Twenty. Seven, eight. It would be nice to have one more coin. So can I, uh, can I trash a? You can do counterfeit, stuff. counterfeit. I wanna, I wanna counterfeit two silvers. I think that will make me one more coin.
Yeah, playing out this kind of end game isn't that easy. Balance, balancing like massive amounts of draw and massive amounts of payload and massive amounts of points. Yeah. And also not leaving open pileouts. Yeah, you can undo if you counterfeit the wrong things. Okay. So um, I'm sort of counting in my... Yeah, that's fair. All right. But I also will have to camel train. So I'm looking at oh, piling out, like, camel training two gears, counterfeiting, counterfeit, then counterfeit gold, uh, then grabbing the castles, the gears, and provinces. Mind if I just try it and see how many points it is? Yeah, sure. I don't really feel like counting for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's see. Counterfeit, counterfeit makes more money than playing them separately, right? Yep, one more. And that's... Uh, is... No, I don't want to. Oh god, I'm gonna have to decline to top deck everything. Okay, cool, it works. Oh no, I don't have enough to win. No, you're like 3 VP short? Yeah. No, 4 VP. Yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, instead. Let's rewind back to the cabin trains. Yeah. Um. Instead, I think I take those castles, and then... No, if I take the castles, you just pile. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess I just take provinces. Uh, camel train. Some... Uh... I don't, I don't actually know if I use the camel train. Um, I guess we could build a little more payload. Play this cool guy. <laughs> it doesn't do anything when we have an empty deck, so. It doesn't do anything at all, but it's very cool. Yes. This just takes some points, I think. So So you can triple, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can quad. Oh, I can't even triple. Oh. Um on the call for short. I think I just get these golds out of exile. Mm -hmm. And uh hope you don't win. Yeah, it's a real chance that I died. Oh my god, I just drew. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. It's fine. <laughs> Dude, there's no way you don't win this two times. Yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't have set aside. Uh I drew counterfeit gold estate in two provinces. <laughs> Almost the worst draw possible. Uh now let's see. How much do I need to win? I need twelve. 22 money from these. That's 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, it's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Don't think I can pile.
I would have been able to pile if I didn't set aside with my first gear. Yeah, my gear has two of stage set aside right now, so I'm a little more... Oh yeah, I would be able to pile... No, I don't have the buys to pile. Never mind. Uh, so then we're just scoring. So I have three buys, which is going to be kings and province. So can I trash the crumbling or do I need to trash the small? Trash the crumbling, I get two, four, five, eleven, sixteen. That's a sad number, but then it's 18 with the opulent. Two, four, six, seven, thirteen, eighteen. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's if I trash the gold, but I think I do that. Yeah, cool. I think that's half EP. Um, especially considering this dud. So I'm gonna buy a province and uh, yeah. Well, no, it's not half EP because there's like there's a shit ton remaining. Yeah, I don't. It's not half EP. I yeah. just mean like I don't think I can catch that lead. Yes. Let's see. Maybe you dud and can't buy four gears. Uh. Sure. I need to I need to learn how to how gear works. <laughs> gear is a strong card. Yeah, but it doesn't Here's my second thing that no one said before. Besides <laughs> both merchant, here's my second hot tip. It gear doesn't... also very strong. Oh no, I could have I should have oh I can I can end it anyway. I could have had one more money. Oh no. <laughs> could have had an estate as well. Yeah, I think I think not taking the castles there for you means that I just get too much points if I take them. Yeah, I think if I dipped into castles earlier, could have probably been in the same position you ended up in. Yeah. Um, I think the bigger mistake was I ended up with no payload because I didn't uh, take the earlier traveler. Although... Actually, all my payload, oh yeah, all my payload came from my second page becoming a treasure hunter and gaining like three silvers. That was like yeah. extra payload. Yeah, Freaky yeah. was talking about that a while ago, how he thinks the most valuable part of a second page is treasure hunter. Right. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to get a hero, but no, it wasn't treasure hunter. It was actually was, was the good thing, good part. Again. Oh yeah, that's a weird one. And we have importer too, so we start with a ton. So you can basically farm for five too. <laughs> yeah, that's great on this board. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you don't want it, but you can do it. It's cool. Spend all your favors. Buy this buy. Oh, this is so sad. Why is there no? Why is there no village? Um, this would have been so much more fun with a village, like getting a bunch of rats and then playing them like a squirrels. Yeah, this looks pretty moneyish. Um. Yeah. Not very interesting. Do you want to reroll? <laughs> uh, no, I think it's fine. Okay, cool. Let's play it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Not a ton going on here. Like Rats there's... looks trappy with no village to squirrel them. Uh, I mean, there's trade. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there's some money stuff happening that looks pretty convincing. Yeah, but like you can trade the rats. 
Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Maybe rats are playable. You can trade the rats, but you have to draw money plus rats. Yes, and then the and then you, the cards you draw don't matter. So no, yeah, it's probably kind of bad. I think there's some interesting stuff to do. Um, let's see. So we wanna hit. It's like six or bust. Or trade with two cards left in hand. So then the question is, how do you cave dwell to accomplish that? We buy a silver here. And then we can. Should we do the shuffle now or then? And it's so hard to hit six with only one silver. I don't think we caved well. I think it's just silver. I think I'm opening double silver. Although there's also the idea of opening like silver cave dweller noble brigand. Depends if you open double silver, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, double brigand, huh? One, two, three, four. I think I'm gonna cave dwell here. See what happens. Okay. So now there's two coppers, silver, and three estates down there. That's a sad hand. We can dwell away from it to trigger the shuffle. We could buy a noble camp to try and hit five to trade, or we can. I think I want to buy the treasury. So I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I just opened up the silver as boring as that is. Now, let's buy a Nomad Camp. Actually, I'm going to spend a favor. Dwell on a cave. Cool. Which of these glorious six costs do I want? Do I want a lab? Do I want a sort of lab? Or do I want one of the weirdest cards? I don't even know how to describe it. City quarter, that's not a village. That's not a city quarter. I had a great marquee game yesterday. Wait, was it the chameleon one? No. Someone, someone posted a chameleon marquee game that looked absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that sounds so good. Wow. Is it like... That's you have 10, 10 coins. Hand, yeah, it just makes 10 coins in a buy. Wow. That's insane. Okay, I think I'm going to get a higher one. Yeah, sounds good. No! <laughs> <laughs> this, this would have been so good if I drew anything but my third estate. And it was 1 in 8 that I drew it. Otherwise, I could have traded two estates here. Yep. But alas, that didn't happen. Oh, I'm so mad. And I'm sorry for everybody's headphones. <laughs> stuff. No, I've had headphones. It wasn't that bad. Okay. I've had complaints before. <laughs> uh, in which case, I think I'm squirreling the Nova camp by nothing. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right. Put the second hireling down, and now I'm out of favors. Well, not down, but in the deck. Yeah. And now I think squirrel and hireling is the way to go. Okay, let's see if we can manage to draw. Oh no, I drew both hirelings together. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, let's go again. Let's not, let's not draw the state. Let's not draw the nomad, nomad camp. <laughs> I drew the state. Um, in which case, let's do... Chariot race. Yeah, I have no clue how much to build here. I'm thinking about playing Marquee Money with Tyrling. That's fancy. Not really, it's pretty stupid, but <laughs> it might work. I kind of love it. I don't know, the alternative is what? Adding a bunch of Destriers and, like, Treasuries as payload with... Yeah, that sounds... Or, like, gold? I don't know. Screw that. Let's play the marquee. Seems cool. Plus, I can just squirrel until I find my second hireling. Oh. Let's discard that one for sure. Oh, and now from the third estate, so let's get rid of that too. Okay, now we're happy. Uh, how many hirelings is too many? Uh, that's a good question. All oh, right, I'd no, wait. There's no gonna... reason to have more than five on this board. <laughs> Sounds about right. I mean, yeah, so. Alright, so we buy one more marquee. And we play this hireling. And then I think we just trade and. Yeah. I think we just buy, and buy gold. <laughs> buy, uh. My green cards. Mm, now let's see, this is eight. So these guys can get me something extra. Nice. And now this is a lot of money. This province and Chariot race? No, Destrier gonna be best. Destrier is Destrier. Yes, good horse. Yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> it will draw big money. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Do I want to trade here? Actually, I might yeah, not play fine. these coppers as coppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks good. I hope we're gonna get like so much shit from the spectators for this. <laughs> it feels um, like we're doing so much stupid stuff. Uh, whatever. <laughs> we're, just gonna... look for, we're exploring new boundaries. Yeah, I mean, I've I don't give a played, shit. This is so much I've, fun. I've never played Marquee Money before. Yeah. I've never played a single game with Marquee before, but... <laughs> let's see how it does. So we can play the Nomad Camp and get Province Chair Trace, or we can squirrel this. And I think it's better to squirrel it. And just buy a Province. 
Okay, unfortunately I didn't draw either of my marquees, so I just gotta buy a province and hope you dud? I don't even know, he's dud, do I double? That seems wrong. I think I need to start buying duchies, let's see what happens. Oh, there's your marquees. Let's see, 2 per 6, 11, 12. This is 14. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh. Does it make sense to try here? Let's see, if I buy province and you completely dud, then next turn if I buy province duchy, I can win. If I buy double duchy right now and you completely dud. Yeah, I mean if you if you buy double duchy now and I buy province, you're kinda screwed anyway, right? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. I mean you could lost, but who knows? Maybe you I doubt it. Oh, you hit four. Okay. Yeah. So like now I'm out of I'm out of uh, favors and I didn't score last turn. So uh, that's what I get. Ooh. Wait. Do I do I buy a state? Does that matter? Yes. Yeah. A state makes a huge difference here. I have to do that. Um, also, I don't find a marquee. So Oops. You live another turn. Yeah, but you don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah. And not I... every game has to be... Look, not every card has to be Silk Merchant, all right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was great fun for being a money game. Yeah. I, we I... saw the strengths and weaknesses of marquee money. <laughs> yeah. All right, last game. Yeah, I mean, I think you just started greening like one, one or two turns too late. Probably. Which is like, Ooh. yeah, this the sounds, sounds like game. a thing. Peasants always is interesting. Oh, this one's crazy, League of Shopkeepers. Oh, yes. Yeah, what can we build? Oh, Sycophant, the one that's really good at building favors, too. Although you, you can't... Plus two favors. You can't trash it. Yeah, there's no trashing. That's a little disappointing. Oh yeah, there's even sewers. Such a yeah. sad, such a sad psychophant. So getting to ten favors would mean you have to buy five psychophants to make it a necropolis that gives a coin and a buy. That yeah, does... that sounds terrible. <laughs> I mean, you can put a token on it. I guess. <laughs> it sounds awful. Put a token on Town Crier, I guess. You shouldn't, but you could. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see, what do you do here? There's no trashing and there's not today. Yeah. This place. But like, there's also Captain and Peasant and Supplies and this place. So like, it's kind of a strong board, but there's no thinning, almost. It's confusing. Is there any extra Elder Synergies? I don't think so. Um, Some other cards in the Town Crier pile look good, but Town Crier itself doesn't look particularly good. Yeah, um, that's that's how it usually is. Let's see. I guess the game plan here is to go off the peasant, put a token on one of the villages, this is a slow board, and then captain a bunch of villages, draw up everything, play a bunch of displaces and mount the banks. Yeah. Built slow, but what are you gonna do? I mean, I'm opening peasant. 
Uh, yeah, it's probably supplies with it. What else? It could be like... Hmm. The supplies horses makes it so that you can't defend against mountebank. But supplies is a good card. So the alternative is like getting a plaza or a silver. Plaza for a coffer, silver to hit five. But supplies gotta be better than silver. Yeah, I think I'll follow. And I'm not too happy about it. Sad. My peasant missed. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and now they collided. <laughs> uh, this is not great. This is not great at all. But this is going to be a long game, so... I don't know what to do here. Get one of those, I suppose. Hmm, do I even play this horse? Ah, I think I do. Let's get a second one to bank. Mm. Let's reread Town Cry and see if there's anything useful. I think you need much more. Uh, dick control for that pile to be good here. Yeah, I agree. Like, it can be pretty strong draw to X, and like, like the blacksmith is a really good card. So, so taking a time cryer to just have to control over the, the pile can be good, but I don't think it is here. I guess Miller is the best card in the pile this, this time. Yeah, around. when I can do this and then play. Plaza, or then play uh, Captain as Blacksmith. It's true. And you do have more Captain.
this in there. We're getting more every day. Yes. It's in those five. It's there's not a mount bank down there. I don't think there's a lot of actions down there. Nope. Nice. The YOLO paid off. <clears throat> to say it. All right. So do I disciple a horse here, or do I play the horse and then disciple the mount of bank? Hmm. Do I want a big turn, or do I just want to slog you down? I want you to do neither. <laughs> I think I'm going to play the horse first and see what happens. All right, cool. We find some villages. Get some options. Hmm. Yeah, discipling captain is nice. I think I would have discipled the mountain bank, but I'm not sure. I'm a very mean person. I think I should disciple a horse here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was kind of dumb, but we're fine. Hmm. Province doesn't seem, doesn't feel crazy. Yeah, flag. Not the craziest. I'd probably take a captain, but yeah, I think take so too. Did we split them five five or four six? Of 
four six. Breaking in here. Mm -hmm. The note from Tracer. If you start game four without the correct number of allies, you will have to start the game over again with the right settings. Oh, it didn't change that. It should be seven, I believe, for this yes, game. Yes, you're right. Yeah, th this is a restart. Sorry to interrupt. No, thank you. Saltro that really wanted to. Uh, Wait, did we even see have a seven ally game? Did we even have four in the last one? Most likely not, but. <laughs> Less noticeable than the seven one. Yes. Uh, so we probably need to replay the last game too. All right. Do you want to break? Or I'm getting a little tired, and we'll play the last two again at another time. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Well, do you want my... do you want to play this one out? Or no, you... not really. No, that makes. I mean... It's it's a uh, slow game. If Montebank wasn't on the board, maybe. But yeah, without Montebank, I think it would be a lot of fun. But this I is... do too. But yeah, it's gonna be a bunch more turns of yes. This yes yes okay yeah all right. Well, we should read the rules more carefully next time. <laughs> well, um, or just or just remember them. <laughs> I didn't read them. So okay, I have read them. I... I just completely forgot about it, and especially when we like changed who the. All right, we swapped back and forth who the table host was, so that messed me up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We'll finish the next two. I don't know. I could. You. It's dinner time for you, right? Yeah. It's a bit after that now. I think it's like. Is it nine p.m. now? No, it's, okay. it's after ten p.m. So yeah, we, we're getting late. Um. So yeah, hit me up tomorrow, and we'll find a time. Uh, or I'm playing a lot of matches tomorrow in okay. some custom tournament, so we might have to play like next week or something. That works for me. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, cool. Talk to you later. Yeah, I believe it's called the "You're Gonna Get Wrecked" tournament. Oh no, it's called "Is, is Are You Better Than Sardukasun?" Well, that's what it is for in general, but for you specifically. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Just you, on. just you wait, Shanahan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna beat you, and I'm gonna get all the style points. Yeah. So <laughs> we should definitely read the rules better. That's on <laughs> us. That's totally on us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Shanahan, for making us not play out this game. <laughs> yeah. Although I don't know, I had more captains than you, so I was probably winning. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. But like, if we had played it out and then realized we had to play it, play replay it, it would be bad. Um. Yeah. So we'll just pretend I won this game, and the last two games cancel each other out. So we're just, <laughs> we're just starting down O two. And the first game also had issues. Like we had one proper game that had no issues at all. <laughs> but that game we were playing the wrong number of ally cards, so. Uh, we could all, you know, did any of these games count? Does anything in life count? <laughs> Are we all just here for a brief moment and then we're gone? <laughs> anyway, thanks I'll for talk to you later. Yeah, thanks sounds for good. Yeah, <laughs> have a nice day. Bye.